I grew up in Shanghai, China, and I studied violin and viola. I left home at 17, joined Chinese Army Orchestra. In those days, that was one of the best career moves for many musicians. Show me the money! Show me the money! UBI is freedom. Show me what democracy looks like! Not left, not right, but forward! You do have to have certain, like, pr preparations in your mind. We want Yang! We want Yang! Give it up! I did, I wrote it. You voted! This is not the end. You brought me back from being too far gone. Hey, welcome everybody. This is Esther Yang and friends. And for my guests, we have Jing Jul. So Jing Jul, tell us about you. I know there's a lot of things going on. You are like a violinist, you do a documentary. I mean, that's just, you know, just, just being humble, but do tell us about you. Thank you, Esther, for having me. Yeah, my name is Ching Zhu. Chinese name is Chen Qing. Uh, I am New York City based. Um, my first profession, and I'm still doing it, is music. I teach music, I teach violin, and then I segue to uh, video and making a lot of videos. And recently, uh, I made a 90 minute feature documentary, and it's on Amazon. So, that's check it out. really awesome. Tell, you know, tell us about your documentary. Okay, the documentary was born out of actually a non-planned and I stumbled onto Andrew Yen who was running for uh, 2020 uh, primary presidential campaign. And I okay. saw him and I started to read that his book, The War on Normal People. Right. It's a great book. It's kind of the book really uh, sold me. So I follow the Yang Gen. Yang Gen are people who support Andrew Yen. And for about a whole year, and then I walked around with my iPhone 11. So I capture everything on iPhone 11. And yes. now the movie is on Amazon uh, and also on Tubi. And yeah, check it out. It's called My Yang Gen Diary. That's that's really, really great. And, you know, just following Andrew. I mean, everybody thinks that Andrew and I are brothers and sisters. So I always have to say, yes, we're brothers and sisters from different set of parents, you know. And he's he's actually, you know, for people that don't know Andrew, he's actually a very nice guy. Right, Ching? Yeah. He's, uh, you know, very new generation, forward thinking, relaxed. Yeah. Uh, very yeah. warm. Yeah. Very warm and very approachable. Yeah. yeah, but we're not we're not talking. This is not about Andrew. I mean, we just happen to like Andrew, you know, and <laughs> that's what we just happen to like Andrew. And this is not about Andrew Yang, but he is going to come to my podcast one of these days. He just when he's like free of, uh, say, scheduling, you know, so mm -hmm. um, he's 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 one of my guests someday. But, you know, your documentary and I know you're a great music teacher and that anybody if anybody wants your expertise about violin, how do they get in touch with you? Oh, they can check me. I have a YouTube page called Music Studio Manhattan. And they there's on there, there's a phone number and they can call me. And I do teach um, privately also in group, but I prefer one-to-one -one coaching because playing the violin or viola is very physical. Uh, you need a lot of instructions, how to hold, how to bowl, how to put the hand on the, uh, on the fingerboard. So there's a lot of, lot of uh, teaching and learning. Uh, it must be actually one-to-one. Uh, -one. Group is great, but um, other than group, Group, one should actually taking private lessons once a week. Yeah, it's 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 it. the intimacy with the um, with the violins and the teachers as well because I think you learn better when you have a good teacher. 
it's like learning play tennis. It's hard to learn how to play tennis on, say, Zoom or with a group. You really need a teacher to show you how to swing your body, swing、mm-hmm. your pad, or all these things. So it's a very physical learning、uh, process. So this is、uh, your documentary. Like you said, it's a it's an accidental profession or accidental hobby, right? Yeah.、Um, yes or no? Were you? Did you plan to be a filmmaker? I've been shooting videos、uh, for almost thirty years. Actually, I've been playing the viola for also, you know, thirty years. So it's kind of side by side. I didn't really plan to be filmmaker. I just like to capture things. At the、mm. beginning, it was very very simple. I capture things for my mother, who lived in China by herself. So I've been living in states for thirty six years. So I just video for her first, and then segue to、uh-huh. video. Other things. I started video concerts because I'm a musician, and then my son was born. I started, you know, video him and his friends. So it's just one way after another, and people start to hire me to do music production. So I actually,、awesome. yeah, I actually consider now as, as I'm a professional videographer. And then you know I made long film, short film, and very long film. So yeah, so my younger diary is ninety minute. Feature documentary, and it's on Amazon. You said right? It's on Amazon Prime. You just type in my Yang Gang Diary. Wow! So there you go, folks. Go to watch my Yang Gang、um, Diary and see how Ching、um, did this. You know, I think that's impressive. You know, from not sure, but you capturing for your mom, and it becomes something on Amazon. Thank you. you. No, really.、Yeah. I mean, that's a big deal. People are like, oh, whatever. But I think it's a big deal. Any project that you're doing, you know. And I think, you know, for my reason to do this podcast is to really inspire people that you're never too young, you're never too old to do something that that what makes your heart sing. Exactly. Exactly. And, and I always believe one thing leads to another. Yeah. And、so、you must do that one thing, and something else will happen. Yeah, but some people are very coward, or some people are too afraid of their own emotions, and some people are just. So, what is your advice to tell people when they don't follow their heart or listen to the the whisper of their heart? Yeah, I think many people have some passion or some、uh, hobby, either hobby or professional. But、um, you just have to be consistent. You just have to be do one small step at a time, and then keep doing it. If you、right. just you know do one thing and you you give up, you know, and in the middle of it, and nothing will happen. So consistency. And also, do what you love to do. Do not just do something you think you're gonna make money, and th- this may not happen. Yeah, I have a sign in my bathroom: "Do、uh, what you love." And I think, like, do what you love and more of it. You know, but I think I still think it's very difficult. I think, like,、uh, for myself, I mean, I do what I love, but I also surround myself with people that support me in my vision. You do so many things. You are just <laughs> you're like a multi, you know, super woman. You, you write book, you cook, <laughs> directing school, and you fundraising for organizations. <laughs> you do so、This、many. This Sunday, by the way, come to see the doggy fashion show. Oh, where is it? It's on. It's on two eighty five Delancey on eleventh、oh. one, and it's also it's a get together for、mm-hmm. the community to、um, get to know one another, but.、Um, I do a lot because my grandmother was a Buddhist, a very wise herbalist Buddhist, that said that today is your last day, and that heaven is right where you're standing. So that really clicked to me that I feel like I have to maximize whatever it is that universe gave me for today, you know, whatever it is, and then I surround myself, like as you know now, who's helping me get my act together,、um, behind the scene. Uh, surround myself with people that can help me towards my vision. You know, yeah, and that's great. That that's really great. what helps me, and I, you know, I want to hang around with people that I like. Makes it easier. 
right? I also want to interview people that I like, like you, and thank you for being in the show. And and the goal for this, you know, as Young and Friends is just to inspire people and to make people do better or change the world for the better. I mean, our motto for Super Happy Happy Kids is changing the world one child at a time. You know, that's, that's, that's our, awesome. yeah, that's our thing. And, and we're also a health and wellness company. So that's why I know that when you play the violin, it, uh, it soothes your mind and it ease the, maybe, maybe now it is, but in the beginning, maybe it's painful, but now I'm sure that it calms your soul. Does it not? Yeah, at the very beginning, you're right. Uh, my violin teacher, first violin teacher said, are you ready to mm -hmm. suffer from the thir first three years? And I say, yes, I am. So yeah, uh, violin learning at the beginning is very scratchy. Yeah, it takes a while to master the instrument and the bow. But uh, uh, yeah, um, at this point, um, at later point of my life, when, when I play, I think it's just, uh, you know, once you taste uh, the, the music you can make or you make music with other people, that's another very important element of string players. Yeah, like surrounding um, yourself with people. Yes, that's yes. And then you, you really um, feel the sound and you, either chamber music or uh, symphonic music. So that kind of uh, uh, listening and oral and is nothing can compare than yourself practicing in your own room. So, so how old is your son? You have one son, right? Yeah, my son right now is 23 years old. Oh my God. You look so beautiful. And <laughs> I think that's crazy. That Thanks. is crazy, you know? You and, too. <laughs> oh my God. But still, you know, that's crazy. I had uh, I had uh, one of my uh, one of my students, a four-year-old, asked me, Miss Esther, how old's your daughter? I said, 23, same age as your son. And she said, oh my God. That is so old, Miss Esther. That is so old. You know, like she can't comprehend that a four-year-old saying like, oh my God, it's 23, so old. But yeah. I think that's incredible because you look so gorgeous. And Thanks. you do this documentary who I inspire to, you know, and on Amazon. And you're taking care of your mom who's in China, right? My mom now uh, has passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. For a while. It's okay. Yeah, but at the beginning of my journey, when I came to this country 36 years ago, uh, so I started to filming myself, you know, uh, mm -hmm. at the late 1980s. Yeah. Wow. And actually, wow. later on, we're going to talk to my neighbor who unfortunately lost her husband from a heart attack. So we're going to talk to her how she survived and her coping mechanism and dealing with bereavement and grief. So that would, well, that would be like one of my next episode, just to talk about that, you know, and it's not, I think life is not, life is not easy, but I think it's easier, in my opinion, when you have good friends surrounding you and supporting your vision. Definitely. Definitely. You know, so if you have, before we end, so just to retell the um, audience, you can get your documentary at Amazon, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. And my then, young, yeah. My Young and Diary right now, if you type in Google, you'll see everywhere. Google will show you how to click on Amazon wow. Prime. And also you can watch for free on Tubi TV. Tubi, spell, spell Tubi. Tubi. E-U-B-I. It's a relative new uh, streaming platform where they uh, showcase independent film and some old films for free. But what they make money is to, uh, they put advertisement on it. But the advertisement during the movie is very, very little. It's not a whole lot. So you wouldn't mm. get, you know. Uh, well, you can get it from Amazon. Yeah, you can also get it from T-U-B-I, Tubi. Yeah. And watch yeah. it for free. And, and you can download. Can, you can spend you can ten download it. to download yep. on Vimeo on demand. V I M E O. That is a professional platform where uh, professional videographer put their works on, and they also let people to monetize. So if you want right. to download the whole thing, ninety minute, you can go there and spend five, uh, ten bucks. Great, and then also you can check your violence classes in your YouTube, right? Yeah, you can uh, 
Yeah, on YouTube, there's three categories now, uh, maybe more. Uh, one is video. So you'll see a lot of my videos on YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Jewel Media, Jewel, J-U-H-L. And then the, the next one is called Shorts. On the Shorts, which is less than 60 minutes, I post pretty much everything about violin or playing or methods or stuff like that. And then on the third is live, live interview. I also live interviewed Esther. I uh, know, right? That was so much fun. Everybody yeah. was watching it over and over again. I think that's great. Yeah. But so, um, anyway, thank you so much for being my guest. You're welcome. All right. thank I you. will catch you up next time. All right, folks. Bye. Thank you, Jane. Thanks See you for later. Bye. Bye.